And we are now going into cricket chat. We did earlier say we'll be speaking to coach Jeffrey Toyana, who has just been appointed as Eastern's coach. You'll remember him from the Lions previously. You will also remember him from the Titans, and that's his most recent appointment. Coach Jeffrey Toyana joins us now on our video line. Coach, good morning. Thank you so much for your time. It could not have been easy leaving a big franchise like uh, the Titans, what was the appeal to go back? Uh, and I say back because uh, you have plied your trade there at Easton's before. What was the appeal for you? Yeah, good morning, Benji, and uh, good morning to the viewers. Um, yeah, I mean, like Easton's for me, like has always been like home. You know, like I retired there and then I was given an opportunity as well, without any qualifications, you know, as a coach, where coaching came as a mistake for me. I didn't plan to be a coach, but Eastern took a chance with me. I mean, I started coaching there. I coached for three years before I went to the Lions. And, um, yeah, like the opportunity came now because I've been at Titans as the assistant coach for the last three years. And I do believe that, you know, like I'm a man who likes to be head coach. You know, like I love being at the helm, you know, like I love the pressure, you know. And when this opportunity came for me, you know, it was a matter of me just going back to try to give back to Eastern's to what they've done, you know, for me. I'll try go back and try get them to Division One. I'm like, that's my challenge. Um, like, that's my motivation as well. I mean, it's a wonderful stadium with, uh, you know, like a lot of young, you know, upcoming players who are really, really doing well. So, like, they just need that push, and I believe that I'm the man who can, you know, take them to Division One. So, like, I'm so excited for the opportunity. Mm. Did you feel like you, you took a, a step backwards, though, in, in your career before when you went to assistant coaching? As you say, Easterns took a chance on you when you were not even qualified. And now as a coach who's won titles with the Lions, you now go to uh, being a 2IC, so to speak. Did you feel that was a step backwards in your career? Yeah, I mean, for me, um, taking up like that assistant position, you know, was quite a, um, you know, like a step backwards. But how it happened, I mean, like it happened quickly. You know, that's the time when Mark Boucher, you know, was appointed as the Protea coach. And then Manda, you know, at the Titans was left without, you know, assistance. You know, so I felt that, you know, they just to uh, take the, the job and they just help him, you know, through, you know, we, which is something that I did. I mean, like I leave Titans, you know, like as the number one provincial team in the country. I mean, like we've won a couple of trophies as well with Manda. And, um, and I think, you know, like, like my time there, you know, like was done. So, uh, like, so now, like it's an opportunity of putting myself under pressure, you know, with a, a team like that's unfenced, you know, you know, like underdogs, you know, like that's what I've done, I mean, before. So like, you know, like that's what excites me. And it's a challenge that, that I'm willing to take um, just to test my coaching, you know, skills and my uh, uh, like a coaching and the qualifications as well, because going to Pinoni, you know, you know, like it's not a place like the Wanderers Stadium, you know, or or Super Sport Park. I mean, it's a smallish um, type stadium with great potential, you know. So like that's what excites me, you know, really. So yes, you know, like as a coach, I think you learn, you know, like as you go through your journey. So yes, I know that I can do, you know, like the assistant coach, you know, position. You know, and, uh, you know, like as a head coach, I mean, the, the, or like the, the pressure, you know, like it's different. You know, like everything stops with you. You know, like the team doesn't play, or like play well, then you as the coach, you are under pressure. I mean, I've got experience also like of that. So like that was, you know, basically, you know, excites me and that like that's what I'm looking forward to. Mm. Coach, we're pretty much used to the standard franchise system here in South Africa as fans in, in recent years, but there's been a change now back to uh, the, the provincial system, more of that, and you spoke about going back to, going to uh, Division 1 and everything. Just explain to us how it, it works now and, and how it's been uh, partitioned, as, as, uh, if I can put it that way. 
Yeah, uh, uh, I think it was a, you know, like thinking from Cricket South Africa just to spread the game around, you know, because for franchise cricket, you know, with only six teams, like, they didn't cover, you know, everybody, you know, like in South Africa, you know, like, a, like plenty of talent was being, like, lost. But now, like, the challenge we have with the two divisions, yeah, because, like, there was Titans and Pinoni, then, like, there was the Wanderers and Porch. So teams were combined. Yeah, but, but now every team, you know, like, is standing by itself. But the biggest challenge now is that you just have to get, you know, the competition strong. And sadly for me, like, the last two years, you know, like, I do believe that the competition has not been that strong. You know, like, the league has not, you know, been great. And I doubt if Cricket South Africa, like, have achieved, you know, their mandate or goals of playing strong competitive cricket and the amount of games that we play as well, you know, like is that is not ideal to, uh, like to prepare the players for like international cricket. Yeah, so now like there's 15 teams, so like there's eight in Division One, then there's seven in Division Two. So like every season, like the team like that finishes last, you know, like goes down, and the team in Division Two. And like that finishes top, like goes up. Yeah, but, but it's a complicated, um, like system that they use because like there's points basically like for every position. Like there's points for four day cricket. Like there's points for 50 over cricket. And there's points for T20 cricket as well. So like if you win any of those, uh, like competitions, you know, yeah, then you get 15 points. So like it becomes 15. If you first, and then ten if you second, and then eight I think if you third, and then you know seven if you fourth. So like they combine all three competitions, like to see like who goes up mm. and who goes down. So like it's a complicated structure that they um, use, but it's something that us as coaches like we've got to understand. You know, like in the last uh, like two years, as the nights have gone down, and KZN, you know. Uh, yeah, the case that in England yeah. have uh, like gone out. Yeah, I guess we, we're all ha- going to have to learn about the new system, uh, Coach Toyana, the fans, the coaches, the players, everyone. But Coach, today we, we mark a very important day in South Africa, 29 years since uh, the dawn of democracy in the country. And we have spoken uh, transformation for 29 years and we have... <laughs> most of the time focused on the playing side of things, the players, uh, and we have sort of abandoned some other areas of the game. Do you feel that we have, whatever progress we've made when it comes to the players, we, we've sort of left coaching behind a little bit? And I'm, I say this with uh, several snubs you've had as uh, 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 an applicant for the Proteas job when you were at the peak of your career, actually having won trophies at the Lions. Yeah, Benji. I mean, it's a um, you know tough question. Yes, today is Freedom Day, but sadly for me, you know, you know, like it's just a date, you know, because we are not free. You know, as a country, that is. You know, like lots of inequalities, as you've just pointed out. Um, like there's, there's, uh, you know, like youth unemployment. I mean, it's rife and it's really, really sad. Yeah, like there's crime. There's all sort of things that, that are challenging the country. And in terms of sport as well, I mean, like there's two stages, I mean, where like you can look at one, you know, the playing side of things. Yes, players are getting opportunities. But it's still sad to the day when I see teams in professional cricket just playing black African players as numbers, where you find a batsman, you know, you know, like who's supposed to bat in the top six, you know, comes in in a team as a batsman and bats number 10. You know, so like the mentality for me is, you know, like it still has to change, you know. Yes, in the bedrooms, um, in the boardroom, sorry. You know, like we've made some strides there, you know, but people are getting some into some good positions. But the challenge for me as well, you know, like like once they get into those challenges, 
or like those top positions, like they have to make a difference. You know, you can't just sit there and watch inequalities happening. You know, treat everybody fairly. Mm. You know, you know, then the people will produce like the results for you. Yeah. Yes, so for me, I think we still have some work to do. And, uh, you know, like it is a long way to go. So we, we, we just, well, I don't want to say be patient, but, 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 yeah, but, but I think we're almost there. So f- for me, you know, like, like it is that last push to all try right. get our freedom, you know, all like right. in all departments. All right. It's, it's just an unfortunate situation that we find ourselves in, Coach Jeffrey. And that, that was heavy. Let's close it on a lighter note. Where are you from, Coach Toyana? Where, where, where are you from? Yes, I, 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 I'm from Soweto. You're from Soweto? Born Orlando East. Orlando East. Born Orlando East. Orlando yes, East. hometown. Orlando East. It's close to Orlando Stadium. What football team do you support? <laughs> <laughs> what football team do you I'm support, coming. Coach Jeffrey Toyana from Orlando East? What football team do you support? There's my sign there. Mami Lodi Sundowns, <laughs> Mami Lodi Sundowns. <laughs> somehow, somehow, Coach Jeffrey Toyana from Orlando East in Soweto is a fan of Mami Lodi Sundowns. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations on yet another league title uh, for Mami Lodi Sundowns. He has just been appointed as Easton's coach uh, in uh, domestic cricket here in South Africa.